What's up, kids? This is David Crowder from the Rock and Roll Extravaganza, known as David Crowder Band. And uh, I'm excited. This is our first song on a journey through the set list of the Remedy Club Tour. This will be quite fun. We're just going to uh, explain what's going on with the acoustic guitar and myself, what, what is uh, kind of I'm juggling during the evening. And our, our beginning point will be Glory of It All, which is sort of the start of the night, so to speak. We have a little opening bit, as you know, and then, uh, and then Glory of It All is the first full, full uh, length number that we begin together. And um, so it figures, it seems like a nice place to start here as well. Um, so I'll play a little bit of it. We'll come back and we'll talk through the chords and, and, and I'll try to explain to the best of my ability what's going on here and we'll see where it goes, all right? So this could be in interesting. Glory of it all, here we go. So that gives us uh, actually the entire song. There, there, uh, all the rest of the pieces uh, fall into that uh, uh, pattern progression somewhere. And so here's what's going on. We'll explain this. First, the intro section. Um, this little riff is a very simple walk up, beginning on the C chord, which uh, starts, uh, I'm just using two fingers for that on the third and the second fret. The third fret on your A string, the second fret on your D string, and then we walk up, or slide up, I should say. We slide up to, um, you've got your seventh fret on your A string now, and your fifth fret on your D string. So that lovely little bit. And then you have uh, another slide that goes up to the tenth fret on your A string, and your ninth fret on the D string. So there it is all together. very simple. You just slide up and wind up up here. And then we have a little, um, a little turn to get you back down there. Um, that would be on the seventh fret on your fat E string to your uh, tenth fret on your fat E. And I kind of swap the, where these fingers are. The pinky takes over on your A string on the tenth fret. So you've got the tenth fret, fat E, tenth fret, A, and ninth fret on your D string for that little deal. So here we go, this is. And then slide back down, so. So that would be that, and then your verse is the exact same thing, just half time, so it's like, you know, at last time. Be, that would be your verse, the same as the intro, just half. Um, and then you have this lovely pre-chorus, which begins on the 8th fret on your uh, A string and the 10th fret on the D string. And I'm just playing these two notes. I'm muting everything else. Um, and then it just walks down to the 7th fret. Keep the pinky going on the 10th, though. And then the, the index finger jumps to the... Uh, whatever that is, that would be your your uh, eighth fret um, on the fat E to the seventh um, on the fat E. So it just again here just, just walks down eighth fret, seventh fret, holding the pinky, pinky stays on your eighth fret. 
fret, fat E, and then seventh fret, fat E, pinky stays, and then into the chorus. And the chorus, we just get to hit this big F uh, chord after, you know, having such limited, um, you know, everything's muted until the big chorus hits. And then the guitar gets to sing a little bit. So we hit this, this F, and um, the way I'm holding it, I've got the pinky down on the uh, high E, um, which is, uh, and then also I'm reaching around the, the neck and grabbing the F um, with my thumb there. That's how I'm, hold, I'm voicing that. Um, the rest is, you know, pretty simple. If you're to play an F chord, a uh, bar structure would be like that. This is the same thing, so I can grab the pinky there. Um, and then you have the G over B, um, and I, again, I'm just holding, I like the pedal tone of the pinky finger hanging on that high E string, and then I've got your ring finger on the B string there. So that's your G over B. So it just goes back and forth between those two. entire song right there, um, glory of it all, very simple, and hopefully uh, that will make, make sense. Um, thanks for tuning in, we'll see you for the next tune. Oh, I should say this, no, hang on, don't go yet, here's, here's an important little tidbit of information. Now, during the tour, the tour kicks off, we, uh, we notice, it takes, well, actually it takes us about six dates in to realize that the first, uh, the first of the, the night, we are completely, right before the song starts, we're completely in the dark. We cannot see anything. Solid black. Pitch black, some might say. So here's what, here's what happened. Um, this, was, this was devised by uh, Mike D. Mike D and, uh, and BWAC. You know the BWAC? Uh, here's, what, here's what they came up with to remedy this situation. That was a horrible. I'm sorry. Um, they, they put a strip of, of lovely green tape, just a beautiful accent color, you know, on the guitar. And um, they, they, at, I don't know if you can see this, but it, at the different fret marks where the, your dots would be, they put a lovely little bit of uh, some, some type of glow-in-the-dark material. I'm not sure where they procured that, but they've got your little lovely glow-in-the-dark bits. So when it's pitch black, I look down and I see these, these lovely little glowing dots, and I know exactly where I am. And this is good because, you know, after six or seven nights of botching the intro to the first song of the evening, which was un unpleasant to say the least, uh, I, I've started to try to practice. I was like, "Here's, I'll, I'll get it down. Don't worry, guys. I promise. Stay with me. I'll just practice a bit." So I would, I would practice closing my eyes and, and playing. It never worked out. So I'm really glad they came up with the glow in the dark materials. It was very helpful. Okay, there you go. Now we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Next song to come.